I am Juliet Inegbedion, I will be a course facilitator for this, uh, for the, all the educational planning courses for PhD in the Faculty of Education. And uh, I am anchoring right here from Abuja. Are you? Can I meet you? Where are you anchoring from? Mr. Omale. Thank you, Prof. Good morning once again. Good morning. Yes, Prof. Good morning. Uh, uh, I'm anchoring from Medugri, Bruno State. And uh, my name is Omale Sunday, as you have said, uh, one of the students of PhD in educational planning. Uh, it is a great thing to meet uh, you and uh, to have you as my facilitator in this platform. Thank you, Mr. Omale. I've uh, gone through some of the things. We just have a ground rule we're going to set for this course. First and foremost, we'll try as much as we can to be to log in at the right time so that because the timing is timed. Once it's timed, what we have set will go off. And for now, I think it's showing one hour. So mm -hmm. one hour while it lasts, I can reset again so that we can come back. Uh, I don't know if that is clear. If it happens to time up within one hour, I will reset for us to come up because the platform we are using is timed. Then secondly, as we are coming in, because what we are doing it will be recorded and sent to everyone, even for those that could not uh, take part in the lecture, we still keep on the recording. You see that it's being recorded. Now, the next thing we need to do when it is time for the class, please try as much as you can to make your environment free of noise. And in your own case, I think I'm happy nobody is around you because in some other classes, you could hear children at the background talking. And once that happens, we will not be able to really <coughs> the class as it ought to be. So having said this, uh, we're going to kickstart now with what we need to do this morning. And considering what we needed to do this morning, we need to look at um, some of the things we supposed to look at. The first thing we're supposed to look at is EDP 913. You can see it on your screen. Are you seeing it on the screen? Yes, Prof. Okay, that is statistical analysis and quantification in educational planning. Now, they want to look at the concepts and nature of educational planning, statistics, and quantitative methods. In this course, my is to facilitate. And if you got the message I sent before now, you, it's possible you have listened to all the lectures I gave, signing these in the recorded videos, and you have read the materials as it ought to be. So in this case, I would like us to express ourselves based on the intended learning outcomes. Here we said, explain the concept of educational planning. Uh, they demonstrated basic statistical studies in attending to educational challenges. These are the learning outcomes. But not all. For Sorry? I said, I've listened to some part of it, but not all. Uh, because of time constraint and a uh, lot of activities here and there. Uh, I'm on this presently, but I'm not true. Which one have you listened? Because support for this, uh, before meeting this morning, we are supposed to have listened to all the videos on module one, and they are short videos. Did you listen to all? Yes, for module one, uh, statistics, uh, at the 9th, 13th, I've listened to that. Okay, good. So we'll be able to have a great discussion. Which aspect did you find a little bit difficult? Looking through what we have here on the screen, we look at what is statistics, which I explained in that um, uh, the video, statistical procedure, planning, educational planning, the basic uh, statistics, uh, the basic statistical classification, quantitative, qualitative, chronological. So which of them? Do you have query on having listened to that uh, video? Um, 
in all this I've listened to, I don't have um, query as I say. My issue here is uh, uh, the theoretical aspect of it uh, by going into the mathematical aspect. But these theoretical uh, definitions and all these ones, I don't think I have issues here. Okay. So if that is it, let us look into the discussion we have there. You know, there was a discussion I posted on that video. And the discussion says, one, visit a school or a unit in the Ministry of Education in charge of educational planning in the school or state or nation. Have you done that? No, I've not done that, Prophet. I saw your discussion. But, uh, okay, even though you didn't do that, maybe from experience, will you be able to find out the kind of data that is uh, being collected in those offices? like in the Ministry of Education, or even in a school? Uh, just as you say, from experience, um, uh, they use uh, uh, all the classified data, both quantitative and qualitative, and also the chronological and geographical data uh, in, all, uh, in, uh, in our ministries and uh, uh, some of the schools. But more importantly, I think uh, most of us, our school here, they go into the quantitative and then uh, that's the major one, the numbers, numberings, that's what they, uh, uh, they do in gathering data and assessing their data. It's all, in rare occasion you look at um, where in the school or in the ministry where they, they go for qualitative, but majority of the schools and the ministries they go into quantitative uh, numbering. Okay, uh, thank you, Mr. Omale. But um, I want us to look at it deeply now because when we say quantitative, we need to know the kind of data they collect that fall into quantitative. If we say qualitative, we need to know the kind of data because the purpose of this is for us to actually know those data that fall into each of the groups. And this will help us when we get to the Mm. area where we'll be using figures because it's this data you are translating into figures that you're going to be calculating so if you do not know the classification it will be a little bit difficult for us but before we continue there is something i need to clarify uh, classify sorry clarify before we move on uh i know Ray sent a message yesterday that some of you finished from national Open university of nigeria at your master's and because of that, you are going to be exempted from GST 907, a study guide for the distance learner. So may I know whether you are one of those that finished from National Open University of Nigeria at your master's? Hello? Yes, Prof. I actually finished from National Open University of Nigeria. That's where I did my master's. I don't know if you have gone through my profile. Hello, can you hear me, Prof? Yes, I saw your profile. Uh, you say you are having an MSc in view, and uh, you have uh, mm -hmm. master's, you have uh, MBA, but the MSc in view is from which university? Um, National Open University. Uh, actually, is there holding my certificate? I have nothing again. I have written and all the course material and my project, everything submitted. And um, I have no reason why uh, up to now I was not among the people that graduated with my seminar. Uh, that's why they couldn't uh, enlist me among the graduates. You mean you have not finished your seminar? I've done that. It's uh, the school that I did not uh, post it on, the, on my portal. Which year was that? And that was um, the year of seminar. I'll be the, uh, okay, the seminar was presented uh, last year, early last year. Early last year. That was around um, March, April. And at that same time, you have already enrolled for your PhD. Uh, uh, yes, I think I, I, one of our um, discussion or uh, in discussion, I told you that <clears throat> we have not actually registered. I don't know if 
episode my my I saw it. I saw it. If you people have not registered, I have come you for already. Okay. Do you have a matric number? Hello. I have. I'm hearing you. Do you have a matric number? I have it, but I don't have it offhand. Except uh, maybe the matric number you have. Was it the one you use for your masters? Or the one you were given for your PhD? No, the one for the master. Okay, I will still need to clarify from the HOD and the dean to know how you people are running your program. Then we'll know how to get on from it. Because in the real sense of it, you are not supposed to run two programs concurrently at a time in a university. So I will strongly say that you go and clear your master's so that your PhD program will not be affected. Did you hear me? All right, thank you, Prof. Did you hear me? I, I heard you, Prof. Okay. Okay, let's go back to our discussion. I heard you, Prof, loud and clear. Okay, I'm listening. I'm listening. Hello? Okay. Okay, if you are having, maybe if they were having the internet challenges, then uh, what I, I, I think you are the person uh, talking before. What you could do, you can type, if you scroll through your computer, you're going to see where you can send mail, uh, sorry, test. You can send tests to me. If uh, the thing is cracking, you can send me a test. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Um, bro, uh, uh, I also announced to you that um, you can Grace has John. I'm seeing him, but let's finish what we're saying. I will welcome him. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. You're welcome. It's, it's okay, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Sorry for the delay, ma'am. No problem. Uh, what caused the delay? You were part of those that were taking part in the um, environmental sanitation. Environmental sanitation. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma so you went outside to work? Yes. The, my network in my area was not very good, so I had to go to my office. Okay, you're welcome. So you, That's where I am now. Okay, and there, the light there is not very bright, or maybe your computer uh webcam is not very uh, okay let me put on the lights let me, I, i'll put on the, I'll, let, me, let me switch on the light man okay quickly do that no problem okay you i think it's better now man it's fairer but well, suppose okay. you have a sharp camera it will be better than that However, you just met us, we have made some introduction, uh, you, we have introduced ourselves and indicated where we are joining from. May we hear you? you. Yes. I am joining from Asaba. I'm Rex Sajiri by name. I'm joining from Asaba. Okay, nice meeting you. So we have here my Duguri Asaba and Abuja meeting together. <laughs> <laughs> which is interesting and uh, we've started to go through what we needed to do but I stopped somewhere to find okay. out if the two of you are involved in the PST 907 or both of you graduated from now hello ma I didn't hear you very well I said I'm just trying to recap what we have done I tried to find out from Mr. Omale if okay. you graduated from now or you are going to yes. take GST now also we finish from now ma i finish from now also okay so which means you won't take part in GST now also but again like no, I no, to you you yes. know we the facilitators we don't know who graduated from now and who did not graduate from now i don't know yes, if you have sent a mail i know i was seeing your mail before i logged yes, I, uh, I sent i sent a mail that have graduated 
and those that are not that didn't graduate from now so that we will know the actual number of students we are attending to okay, have you okay. done that Yes, I, I send the, the names of those who did not graduate from now. There are only three of us. Only three of you graduated from yes, now? I, no, that did not graduate from now. Okay, only three people didn't graduate from now. Yes, and I've sent their names to you, ma. Okay, out of 13. Out of 13. Okay, that is okay. No, no problem about that. So right okay. now, we communicate to you. When did you finish your master's in now? And that should be 2000 and uh, uh, I think 16, 16. Okay, that is fine. And Mr. Malek just told me that you people have not done your registration. And that no, gets we have not. a bit worried. And uh, are you saying yes. that you are not yet enlisted as student of now? I don't really know where to place us now because we have admission letters. We have started lectures. And uh, we met the prof about this issue. He said that the the uh, the IT department that they are yet to to uh, how will I put it now start off that for PhD. And uh, he gave us letter of introduction to make use of the library. And in case we are going out, and said before we come back, they will sort out things. But up till now, no further correspondence. And then Dr. Ofoa, the one who's in charge. By then, we are told she traveled, but I spoke to her yesterday. She is back and they will work on things. But as it is now, no math number for us and no registration for us. Okay. I uh, will still reach them and see what we're going to do. Uh, let me get uh, on that. Uh, Prof, uh, if I may come in here, uh, during our contacts uh, in September last year in Lagos, um, we were told uh, that even the, the set before us uh, are yet to register. And uh, there was a kind of insinuation that um, uh, by uh, the end of last year, after the accreditation of the, of the faculty at the PH level, and uh, we will be enrolled. Uh, I don't know if that was the reason why uh, we were unable to be registered. I don't know. But you are there, you are the insider. You may know better than us here. I just told you what uh, we're to during our meeting. Uh, no problem. I will make an inquiry. For now, I don't have any information. I'm just hearing from you that you have not done your registration. So make an inquiry on that and see how it goes. Is that okay? Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, 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 but uh, out of the 30 students, I think it was only 10 that uh, resumed. I hope uh, we should not lose out of that. Okay, no problem. But I have only two admin students, uh, okay, well, yeah, planning students, right? Are you the only yes, two planning prof. students? Yes. Okay, thank yes, you. Yes, let's, prof. Go back to now. let's go back to our course and see how we can get along. Mr. Rez, before you came in, we've tried to look through what we are supposed to have known. If you look through the screen, you see that we are on Statistical Analysis and Quantification in Educational Planning. That is the course we are looking at. And that is the course we're supposed to have for nine. Okay. What is that noise from? Uh, we have set our grand room, Mr. Rez, before you came in. We don't want background noise whatsoever, please. Yeah. Uh -huh. Because to always be interfering into what we do. So right now, once look, uh, we have looked at the objective, the intended learning outcomes needed to have achieved, and what we needed to know in module one. That is what you have on the screen. And I asked the question if we have actually gone through our instructional videos on module one, because everything here I've already. Oh, it was very bright. What did you do that make your screen bright and it has gone back? Hey, you can do it again. I, I guess the network. Yeah. <laughs> you came up. I, 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 I had to, re, to relaunch the, <laughs> re the application again. Okay, no problem. Yeah, it's okay, man. Right now, I don't know if you have gone through the videos because here yes, is. Yes, I've done that. 
is for facilitation. And in facilitation, I'm not going to be teaching all over yes. again. Rather, we're going to address the area that we have challenges on. That even after we've listened to the videos, we have uh, worked on the material, we still have some challenges in those areas. Those are the areas of focus. So right now, as uh, we went through the introduction, the basic statistical classification, do you have any issue on that? As you could see on the screen. No, 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 ma, no, ma. It's very clear, ma. Okay, yes. thank you. Now let's come to the, okay. the discussion. Yes. That was where you met us on the discussion. Here we said for the discussion that you should visit a school or a unit or in the Ministry of Education in charge of educational planning in the school, state, or nation. Did you do that? Yes, ma. I did a bit of research on that one. I did. Okay, thank you. Since you did, can you just quickly tell us the type of data? So identify the type of data collected in your... What type of data did you find in the office? You Can you quickly bring up your... If you have it on your uh, Microsoft Word, you can bring it up so that we can all see it. The type of data that you saw them collecting, that you were able to identify that they collect in the office. Okay. I, I, actually, I went to a school. Fine. I went to a school, and the data they collected, uh, the uh, enrollment data. So enrollment data. Are you projecting it for us? No. Okay. I'm not. I'm not. Okay. Uh, we talk about uh, enrollment. Uh, yes. Enrollment data. Enrollment data. Mm -hmm. Yes. Then uh, they talk about promotion data. Those that promoted promoted to the next class. Okay, let's look at you. Talk about the promotion. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then uh, uh, they talked about the, the withdrawals. Okay. Then the number of teaching staff. Okay. Then the number of non teaching staff. Okay. Uh -huh. so the 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 records, the academic records, the registers and other things also. The part of that they keep. When you say academic records, can you list those? Like, can you talk about the register? Mm, the the register, the diaries. Mm -hmm. Then the uh -huh. then uh, the the uh, the goals of the school. That will be the vision and the mission now of the school. Vision and mission. And the mission, yes, of the oh. of the schools, the missionary school. The uh, school of the, mm -hmm. of, of the school. Okay. Uh, okay, I'll talk about the, the population of the school. Okay. Male and female for a school. school enrollment. School, yes, uh, male and female. Then the assets. The we assets into the school enrollment by sex. And uh, by, by sex, yes, okay. by sex. Mm. That the next one. Then the the assets. Okay. The school assets and, and liabilities. Okay, assets and liabilities. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, then they also add their school inspection records. Uh, school inspection records. School inspection oh. records. Inspection records. Special records. Mm -hmm. They are sports records. Sports records. Yeah. Then they have a uh, financial records. Financial records. Yes, they have financial records. Then uh, facilities and equipment of the school. The library. Yes. They have the library. The and yes. equipment. Of this yes, mm -hmm. the, li the library, the well, lab, the computer library. Yes, the, the they have a laboratory. Yes, a computer laboratory. Okay, let's just management laboratory. Uh, uh, yes, in yes. bracket you have computer yes. and what? What are the other laboratories? Home management and science. Home management and science. And science. Mm -hmm. Then they also have they also uh, have the records of those in the hostel. Because it's a it's a boarding and it's a co-education, both boarding and day students. 
So they have separate record for the, those in the boardings, the boarding, yes. Hostel. In the hostel, yes. And uh, male and female. So, by sex. Yeah, those okay. by, day, uh, by sex, yes. Six. Okay. I, think that the records I was able to gather from there. Thank you. This is a great one you have done. Uh, with all these records, the next question for us is to classify them. Mr. Rex, I do hear, I wouldn't know whether it's from your end or from Mr. Ma. I'm hearing this noise of children at the background. No, it's not from here. I'm here alone, all alone in the office. Okay. Could it be Mr. O'Malley? Um, it could be because uh, I'm alone in my room. But in the environment, no problem. Yes, I'm alone in my room, but uh, from outside I can hear what you are hearing. Okay, no problem, we'll manage. Uh, now, from the... No problem. Now let's look at what we have here yes. that Mr. Rex has given to us. If you look through, this is a wonderful document. Now, the next thing we need to do is to classify this document into what? We said we should classify them into quantitative, qualitative, chronological, and geographical data. Because these are the data, if we know how to classify them, that is going to help us to achieve what we need to do as from next week. And in the area whereby you need to be doing some calculation, you need to know what data is coming in. And at the time you start your research, you need to know the type of data you're going to collect. Now we have this data. Let me bring them up and we'll start classifying to know what would be in what. Uh, let's move this. So if we talk about the quantitative, which of these data will be in the quantitative, Mr. O'Malley? Um, um, uh, the teaching staff number uh, should be in okay, let's take in it one by one. Let's take it one by one. Sorry, so that let's take enrollment. Where will enrollment fall into enrollment data? Enrollment should be in quantitative too. What means talking of the number? Uh, what makes it Prof, I, I couldn't hear. What makes it quantitative? Uh, talk of uh, Romans. We're talking of the number of uh, either a class or for a course or for subjects. Uh, it could what be is a Roman? What of, is a Roman? Uh, when we say a Roman data, what do we mean? We are talking of enlistment. A can People, for instance, uh, in this course, uh, it was a, two of us that enrolled uh, into PhD uh, uh, educational planning. So we are the people that are registered, uh, we're talking of registering or uh, a number of people that are to either carry out a course or a subject or in a school. Uh, we have top, different types of enrollment. It could be enrollment uh, relating to students, it could be enrollment relating to materials, it could be a Roman relating to equipment, it could be a Roman relating to um, um, the, the, the number of uh, facilities, buildings, uh, just as I said from the beginning. Uh, that's why I say that when we're looking, talking of um, numbering, uh, numbering all, always go with the quantitative. Thank you, it's quantitative. I agree with you. But in enrollment data here, which is vital in educational planning, we are looking at the number of pupils or students that are registered in a program or in the school. That is the enrollment here. And in the enrollment figure, because he was mentioning population, in planning, we classify it as the enrollment of the school. Now, you can, there are different things you can do with the enrollment of the school in the future. Because you can classify that enrollment data by sex. You can classify the enrollment data too by geographical location. That is, how many students are from a particular, uh, a particular region, a particular state, or a particular local government that are enrolled in that program or in this school. That will help you to know those that you need to have attention on when you are dealing with enrollment. At the same time, 
it will equally help you to find out the total number of students that are enrolled within the age group. You can equally classify enrollment by age because you can pick enrollment into primary one. And by age, official age to enter primary one in Nigeria is what? Six years. Good, six years. So you cannot take the population of Nigeria, take the total population of six-year-old year children and find out out of the total population of six-year-old children, how many children in that age group that have registered in the school. Now, Mr. Rex, before I forget, this team may time us out after one hour. If it does, don't go. I will reset. Then we'll come back again. Did you hear that? Okay, you already told me, Mr. It's okay. Okay. So right now, if you're looking at the enrollment data, if you are looking at the enrollment data, you are looking at it in different. In this regard, we are looking at it collectively, and I agree with you. Enrollment will be under quantitative data. I agree with you, it will be under quantitative data. Let me move this up again because I don't want to go scroll down that you won't be seeing what we are doing. Let me move them up so we can be seen. Now we are done with enrollment data. Mr. Rez, do you have something you want to add there? Mr. Rez, you're asking why it was quantitative. Yeah, because it, because it's documented in figures, as we say, it's quantitative data. Yes, because it's in figures. Uh, I was saying that is is because it's in figures uh, and it's a. Uh, it can readily be measured to give meaningful interpretation. So therefore, it's quantitative. Data. Yes, I agree because you can say 200, 300, 2, 5. It's in yes. figures. Now let's go to the next one. We talk about promotion data. Yes. Where are we going to classify promotion data, Mr. Res? Quantitative also. Will it only quantitative. be quantitative? Mm. What makes it quantitative? It might be, it, 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 and because it's still, it's, still, it's still documentation of the figures of those that went to the, the, next, the next class. Talking about promotion of students now, the next class. So I would think it's quantitative. But uh, if we are considering it uh, with respect to the, the how will I put it now? Uh, there's a term I'm trying to remember now. Uh, the, the efficiency then might be qualitative in 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 some, in, a, in some sense because it shows the quality of uh, of students that progress from one form to the other form. But generally, I would have said from the quantitative. Thank you very much. No, you see why I raise that question. You answered it well. I'll be confident. There are some data that can fall into both sides, fall into two or more groups depending on what you are doing with that data. Now, if you want to find out promotion data, and the promotion in this instance, we are not referring to the promotion of teachers, because that's another, but we are concerned now with the students, the people yes. in the class. Now, they've promoted from one level to the other level. And that movement from one level to the other level, you're going to quantify it in figures. So say, well, out of 1,000 yes. students, that registered into primary one in 20, uh, let me say 2018. By 2019, only about, um, uh, let's say 800 of them succe successfully moved to primary two. It's quantitative. It's quantitative. Now, when you now come to the qualitative, like you did say, when you are now trying to now influence it, interpret it, using the promotion rates to interpret quality, of yes. what is done, and that is the area of efficiency. We now come in to talk about the yes. area of wastage. Was there what you need wastage. to do? You can equally come in in the area of yes. qualitative. Qualitative. Now, you can equally even classify it chronologically. If you are now looking at the data for promotion according to the year, okay. how many students were promoted 
in year 2017? How many were promoted in year 2018? Now you want to find out a pace whereby you can have a linear progression of promotion. So if you are doing that also, then you can classify it as chronological because it goes with dates. I don't know if you agree with me. Did you hear me? Yes, Prof. Did you agree with what I yes, said? Yes, I did. I did. So totally, when totally. you are looking at your data, you look at the function of that data at a particular time. This is paramount, especially when you want to find solution to educational problem using planning. So you must look at the need for that data. So one data can be quantitative, qualitative at the same time. And the same data too, this promotion data, we can equally classify it geographically. How would that be? Yes. Can somebody explain that? Um, oh, okay, let me when try. When we talk of geographical classification, we are talking of the area, the states, the local government, the community, uh, uh, such group of students are coming from. Uh, for instance, uh, Res is talking from uh, South South. Uh, I'm talking from the uh, Northeast. Uh, we want to uh, not, not divide or look into the number of students we have in the class. We are two. And when we want to classify them or classify us geographically, we say that we have a student from South South and students from the uh, Northeast. Uh, that is the clarification. I think uh, if I have to classify students by where they are coming from. Thank you very much. In this case, you say the total number of data that we have promoted from the <laughs> one. Is our, we are using our instance now. Then the number that was promoted from Northeast is one, which is very correct. Because in that case, too, you want to find out could it be that there are some students from a particular region that are doing excellently better than others. Exactly. So you see yeah, that, that when, you, so when you have yeah. a particular figure, a, a particular data, that data yeah. can serve in different uh, dimensions. Okay, now let's move to the dropouts. The same thing is applicable to dropouts. So the dropout, yes. The same thing is applicable. You want to know how many are still in and how many have dropped out. And yes. again, it could be quantitative. Again, it could be qualitative. Yes. You could do it chronologically and it can be geographical. It depends on what yes. you want to do with the data at that particular time. That will determine how you look at that data. Now, let's go to the next one, which is number four. Teaching staff number or number of teaching staff. Where does that go into? Mr. Uh, Omale, take that for us. Sunday can take that for us. Like you are not hearing me. Uh, yes, Prof. Um, teaching staff not uh, that will go. I can hear you. I can hear you. Can you hear me, Prof? I'm hearing you. We are waiting for you. Uh, Mr. Rev, can you hear me? I can, I can hear you. I can hear you. Okay, I said it, it, will be, it can be classified. Okay, it can be classified. It is going to be classified under quantitative for the following reason. One, we are looking at the numbering, the number of staff, uh, teaching staff, in a particular school, in a particular school, uh, that's why we say that is from where we are looking from, looking from perspective of quantitativeness of that that data. And uh, we are consecrating 
majorly on number, no other thing again. We are not measuring the intelligence. So absolutely this one will be classified under quantitative. Okay, thank you very much. I the network from the area is not very friendly. Uh, can, I, can, I can I ask something? Can I ask something? Can I ask something, please? Please do. Rest, we are waiting. Uh -huh. uh, what I also, yes, when I did this teaching staff number, what I also observed was that the it's an Anglican uh, mission school, and they classify the staff according to Anglicans and non-Anglicans in the institution. Mm -hmm. So in that respect, it would be qualitative as well. The qualitative. Thank you. They classify them Anglican and non Anglican. Now, in the area of Anglican mm. and non Anglican, we want to look how many number. Oh, where is Somali? It has gone. Maybe we'll come back. How many yes, Anglicans yes. that are there? How many non Anglicans that are there? Then, yes. in this area, you discover that you look at it in the area of quantitative. And sometimes, too, they may even want to classify to to know how many of them came in at a particular date. Maybe within a particular yes. year, said date. That would be chronological. Yes. So you can say that it's really making meaning yes. what you did. Because if you haven't done this, we won't be able to discuss this detail. Because this is what you got from the field. This is the actual yes. of the field. Now yes. we look at the number of non-teaching staff. It will be treated the same way. Do you agree? Yes, I will. Okay. okay. I agree now, let's look at the academic records now. We look at the register, the diaries. Let's start from, I would say, let's start from the vision and mission. Where yes. do we classify the vision and mission of the school? Qualitative, ma. Qualitative. Qu did you say quantitative? No, qualitative. Qualitative. Good. It's qualitative. Quality. Quality. Yes. Is yes. qualitative because the vision and mission is a quality matter that will help you to have yes. a drive of every other thing that you're going to do in that uh, particular yes. school. Uh, now, we we'll talk about the uh, diaries. Now, yes. on the diaries, where do we classify the diary? Why do you even keep diaries? They, they, they keep the diaries to show record of work done. Uh, uh, the, the activities that teachers covered for that week. So I, I, I think it's an indication of the quality of work that the teachers are doing. So in that regard, I will classify them as qualitative data. It's qualitative? Yes. Are you saying qualitative or quantitative? Quali qualitative, qualitative. Qualitative. It's a qualitative yes. matter because you want to just use it to assess the quality. It's a yes. kind of quality. monetary yes. what they do. What they are now doing. we come to the register. What do you have to say about the register? We are now on the register. The register will be quantitative. Sorry? Quantitative. The register will be quantitative. Okay. Be quantitative because uh, in the sense that uh, in this is America, it will also be qualitative because what I observed, the names of the boys are written on top in blue. And the girls are written downwards in red. So there's a clear demarcation between the names of the boys and the girls. It could also be geographical because in the register, I found they had the addresses of parents, some from Onisha, some from Saple, some from Beta. So in that case, it's geographical. It's geographical. So I would say quantitative, qualitative, and geographical. Then what about the chronological? You think it cannot equally come in there? If I want to find out uh, maybe the status of a particular student, I could be asked, or what year did the student get into the school? Or if I need some data, I may go there oh. and I need, oh, the, oh, oh. I need the Roman data. Oh, okay. I may need the mm. Roman data of those <laughs> that have registered in the school from 2015 yes. to 2018. And where will they get that okay. record I, 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 register? They will get a record from the, the registers. The, the register that I saw from the admin office are of two kinds. They gave me the admission register uh, and they also showed me the normal class register. 
in the normal class register, where I will say chronological there is the date of birth of each of the children. And some, they have different date of birth from the class register. So in that regard, I could say it could be chronological. But in the admission register, that is where they had the date each child came into the school. Uh, so, but now it, so, so for the class register, it was chronological because of their date of birth, their year of birth is different. Uh, but as per when they came to the school, they were referring to the admission register where we classify it also as a chronological. Thank you, Mr. Arez, that you have classified it. You know, you just put here register. Because I yes. know in the school system, primary school, secondary school, they always yes. classify the register. You have the admission register, you have yes, the, and the class uh, register. The class the attendance register. register. So now yes. it's good that you have classified that. Now let us yes. look at uh, school enrollment by sex. Yes. I think you have spoken a little bit of that also. We are mm. looking at school enrollment by sex, but we are talking about enrollment data. I think this yes. was when you were talking about population. And yes. here again, you can look at it in the area of quantitative. We can look at it in the yes. area of qualitative, but quantitative. it covers all. It depends all. on the angle on which you are looking at it. Do we agree? Yes. yes Mr. Omale, do you agree? Mr. Amale, can you hear us? Okay. You watch it. Now, let us see the assets and liabilities. How do you think it's qualitative, man? I, I, I think it's qualitative majorly. Though a little bit of quantitative, but it's qualitative. I would say qualitative. They are both quantitative and qualitative. Depending on how you want to look at it. Okay. okay. For example, how you look at it. Yes, what you need the information for. When you say assets, can you just name one of those assets you saw? in that they told you. Oh, 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 okay, it, it's funny anyway, but in the school, in the school, it's a large school, <laughs> so in front of the building, I know it's abnormal, it should not be in the school, and I told them, in the front of the building, the fence is quite long, they now built a block of shops there, and you have traders selling there, and the money is taken into the school <laughs> to, 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 as part of the income of the school. So in that regard, it will be the assets. It will be the assets of the school. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That will be the assets of the school. Now, uh -huh. when they want to build, now you mentioned the word uh, shops. Yes. I mean, the shops can be classified. You going to count in figures. Yes. What yes. Yes. For how many shops? There are, there are, there are thirty. Thirty of them. Thirty. So, of when you not say thirty shops, we are yes. not going to quantitative. Quantitative. Yes. Now, when you are now looking at the impact it will have in the school, it becomes qualitative. 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 Yes. And the same goes with the liabilities. Yes. If you have teacher salaries that have not been paid, that liability. are paid, it's a liability for you. Liability. Yes. And if teacher salaries are not paid, because in teacher salaries, you cannot quantify in terms of Naira and Kobo. Yes. So say you are having this number of amounts, 30,000 billion or whatever, that is due to worker salaries. And that will come under quantitative. Yes. But when you are not looking at the impact it will have, if I am not paid salary, I am home. I'm not motivated. Instead of I'm me to come to class to teach, maybe yeah. I will go mm. to the farm to look for why I can make something for my children to eat. And in that you. case, at the time I would have been teaching, that time is lost. And what it's happens? Lost. Students will not have any uh, impact. They will not have impact. something that is coming in. No knowledge is gained within that period. So the quality would yes. have gone down. Qualitative. Yes. Yes. So you see that uh, this discussion is really giving us an eye opener on how we need to classify data. We cannot yes. just say that oh, this data because it's quantitative is quantitative or true, or this one because it's qualitative is qualitative or depending. On the angle at which you want to utilize that uh, data. data. Do we agree? Yes. Hello. 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 Now, yes, Mr. Omar. Hello. Yes, we are hearing you. Excuse me. You are excused. We can hear you, Mr. Sunday. 
the thing is cracking. Now, let us look at school expansion. Yes. Uh, I lost that because uh, many occasions <laughs> I say I. Okay, maybe you just listen and follow us through, please. Now, let us look at the school special records. How do we classify the school special records? Uh, I think that will be qualitative. Qualitative. The school special records is both qualitative, qualitative and quantitative too, depending on where you look at it. Because okay. when you are looking at the school special records, within the records, there are specific things you need, want to look out for. For example, you may want to know how many students are sitting in the classroom. Are okay. there more than 40 as specified or 35 as specified by the benchmark? Number has come in. I don't know if you get what I'm trying to say. I, I understand. So these I are agree. things that, depending on what you want, if you are looking at it holistically as school in special records, even the yeah. records, you want to count how many records are kept. They have. Did you keep yes. this record? Did you keep that record? You keep ticking at the rest of it. So it could be both yes. qualitative and quantitative, depending yes. on the angle at which you are looking at it. Now we look at the sports records. Yes. The sports record will be treated the same way. The same you way with the special record. Now, yes, financial records. What do you want to say about financial records? Financial records are. Uh, I think in line with the broad, uh, the broad or uh, open mind we are we are we are approaching it from. Firstly, I would say it's uh, quantitative because uh, it's measurable, but it's also an indicator of the quality, the quality of the institution. Because uh, if it is not okay, it goes a lot to speak about what we expect in terms of uh, efficiency. So why I would say quantitative, it also has attributes of uh, qualitative as well. I agree with you. Then let's look at facilities. Now let's look at facilities and equipment of school. Yes. Facilities, I know it goes beyond just library and laboratories, but from your experience yes. in the school, what can you say? Uh, like the, 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 the day I went there, coincidentally, coincidentally uh, we met in the laboratory officials of uh, NECO who came to accredit the school laboratory that day. And the few minutes I spent with them, what they were doing that they were taking um, the uh, item. Uh, uh, if, I can, if I can come in. Please, can you just let him finish? Just let him finish, please. Mr. Rez, continue. Okay. And uh, what I found, they were taking the various items in the, in the lab. Do you have test tube? They will take. Do you have this? At the end, they scored them 39 over 50, chemistry lab. Physics, 49 over 50. And so, so I think the counting of the items there will be quantitative, but the the scoring we the scoring the overall scoring will be an indicator of the quality of the school, because the school that gets a forty nine over fifty will set to be of higher quality than one that have probably twenty over fifty. So I will say I will classify them both as both quantitative and a measure of a qualitative of measuring the school. I agree with you too. I'm so happy that you, because you're visiting the school, give you an insight, isn't it? Yes, yes ma Maybe before now, you just, oh, these are facilities. There are purpose for which <laughs> those facilities are there. Because today yes. you hear, oh, I want quality school. I want this school yes. better. What makes one school better than the other? Do you understand? So there are things, so if you look at the facilities, we talk about the quantitative. Then the idea of these facilities too, remember, you can quantify it monetarily. Yes. When you are looking yes. at how much am I going to spend mm. to get this facility? Yes. yes, it's a source of quality. But you're yes. going to spend money to get this quality. How much yes. will you need to get this quality? So you see that it's quantitative in that area. So it's yes. both quantitative and quality. Then at the same time, supposing you are the governor of a state and you need to provide, I just watch your governor this morning. <laughs> Governor Okoa showcasing Okoa. what he has done as far as the primary schools and the rest. Primary schools. And okay. these schools are not in the same locality within no, the state. Not. You understand? Yes. So at the time yes. you are not classifying, okay, how many of these buildings are here? What is lacking there? Geographical, we come in. Geographical, yes. And at the same time, the time you are giving records, like I was watching him this morning, or oh, what you have done within this particular time to this time, chronological comes in. 
And somebody may ask, okay, how come that you did so well at this point, at this point, nothing is done? Because when I, 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 I turned my penny, I saw somebody was analyzing. When Okowa came in, this was the number of schools that were available. Schools. And now it has increased. Mm. This all has to do with facilities mm -hmm. and equipment. And some teachers were fine. Okay, you see our class now with some students. They are built building for us. They are for the building and the rest of the rest of them. Though, well, that might be political anyway. But when you are going to the real sense yes. of money, all these things are be put in place because there is no way yes. you will not use money to drive. There is no way in the area of equity because when you are planning a school or you want to establish schools, there must be equity in all those that you need to serve. So the equity too will come I in. Uh, I don't know if you get what I'm saying. We agree? I, I, I agree with you. Yeah. I agree with you. So, you see, it depends on how we look at it and how it goes. Now, let us see the final one you mentioned. It's rather unfortunate that uh, uh, Mr. Male's uh, network is really fluctuating. Now, let us look at the last part here. Record of those in the hostel a day by sex. Mm, what by was sex. your observation when you got in there? Uh, what, what I what I observe is that the and and I was I, I really I was really curious because the females most more of the females are in the hostel and uh, very few of them are coming from home and uh, but most of the boys were coming from home and very few were in the hostel so I was I was really I asked them I don't know why why they trained but uh, from the grapevine somebody said the management of the female hostel is better. And that of the male, and that most people have pulled their male ward from the male hostel. So what I observe is that there are more females in the hostel as compared to the, the, the male students. So, uh, that, so it's, it could still be it's, it's still qualitative and quantitative. Uh -huh. Then uh, geographical as well, because from the records we saw there, those who were in the hostel were majorly from outside Asaba, uh -huh, as compared to those who are coming from uh, coming by day. Who were majorly from Asaba and uh, Anonisha. But those who were in the hostel were majorly from places like Sable, Benin, Oka, Enugu, and so on. So, in that regard, it could be geographical, it could be quantitative, it's also qualitative. Thank you, I agree with you. And uh, in all these that we have discussed, you discover that from here you may have, have a different view of the work you're going to do, especially as you are thinking of uh, a project topic, thesis topic you're going yes. to work on. Would that have given yes. you an idea and give you a different perspective, a broad yes. mind of what you, because like what the last part you just said now, is something that one can research into. Yes, Because I agree. if you have more boys uh, staying as day students and you have more guests as the boarding students and mm. from the grapevine you let oh, one facility is better than the other, that is what the attraction of one to the other. Then it's something that one needs to look mm. at, to even meet management to find yes. out, okay, why are you not giving the same quality of facilities? Is it money? Is it, what is it? And we have not even gone to the area of uh, the other thing. So the other aspect that I would want to add here, <coughs> we look at the curriculum. We didn't add the curriculum here. Okay, okay. We need to look at the curriculum as well because yeah, the curriculum yeah. is also a data that you can get in schools or in ministries. You can, yes. So, where you went to is, but I, I, you need curriculum. No, it's not there. It's no, it's not there. They didn't remember to tell you because even the diaries yeah. mentioned a scheme of work. They would have shown you a scheme of work. That would have been their curriculum if they have given you the scheme of work. That's uh, what they, uh, what, okay, what they did, what, what, Eloma, what I saw there, what I saw there is the, the diaries, the diaries at the beginning of the diaries, the diaries are into two, into two parts. You have the part that contains the scheme of work, first term, second term, third yes. term. Then the other part is now week by week, week by week, week by week. Uh, so the scheme of work was actually the new piece, I, 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 I skip my, my memory. The scheme okay. of work is the first part of the diary, first term, second term, third term. Yes. Okay. So in this regard, 
What other thing do you have from the video you have watched in the module one? Because this is what we need, wanted to look at today. And yes, yes. I don't want us to go into the module two yet, where the calculation aspect will come mm -hmm. in. Because I want us to have a good grip of the foundation before we go into the other parts. Okay, it's okay. I think the, the, the video, I will thank you very much. It has really given me joy to know I'm part of this program because it was short and precise and straight to the point. I just say thank you for the video and I am grateful to be in your class. I, I believe I will do well because it's very explicit and uh, straight to the point. So thank you. It's clear. It's clear. And the assignment is an eye opener. And I, I believe I will enjoy my course here. I, I believe I will enjoy it. Yeah. I believe so too. But what I want to ask, what okay. I want to, yes, what I want to ask is that if, for example, maybe in our exams, we are asked to give examples of uh, quantitative and qualitative, but on the look of things now, almost all the ones that I've brought now, they cut across everything. In your exam at your level, I will not tell you to classify yeah. what is quantitative yeah. and what is qualitative. <laughs> at your level, it will okay, be application <laughs> questions. <laughs> Is Are okay, you guys what I'm saying? I, I'm getting you, ma. Uh -huh. At your level, it's going mm. to be you doing the real thing as it will find yes. solution to, to the problem. society. The society. And okay. why we are taking you through this is that when you are trying to look for solution, you know the kind of data you need to get to do yes. all this. At your level, yes. nobody is going to ask you a uh, list or state, explain, I won't do that. <laughs> okay, you get it? Okay, I won't do that because you I, have grown beyond okay, that level. You that are level. the level, and, and anything you do now can form mm. part of policy. Yes. yes. Uh -huh. So I won't give you that kind of uh, question of leave. Okay, no, no, no. You have okay, been okay, okay, man. Okay, man. Thank okay. you, man. So if we don't have any other question on this, I will say we end this class. But before we end, I really want to uh, encourage you, please go and take part in the discussion because your participation in the discussion forum is going to be scored. It's already computed. Okay. It will be scored as part of your continuous assessment, which is your tutor mark assignment. It will be scored. Okay. I'm going to be making my part there. I don't even think you have introduced yourself. Go okay. through everything there, starting from the icebreaker. Go <laughs> and take part and walk through. Is, is, it for the EDP, is it for the EDP courses or for the GST, man? EDP. You, have you logged on to yeah. this EDP course? EDP. Yes, I, I, I have done that too. But the icebreaking, I tried to click where I would use myself. There's not, nothing is highlighting for where I will click my... Okay, let's go myself. there now. Let me show okay. you what you need to do. Uh, let me see. Okay, man. This, are you see? This is your EDP nine one three. Yes. I'm okay. Taking it back. Let us go back. Okay. Fine. This is what you see, right? Yes, okay. man. So right yes. here, you click on the yeah. icebreaker. Yes. If you click on the icebreaker. Mm. Here, to kick start already added the topic. Did you read this? Okay, okay. Did you read this? No, no, okay. I didn't see that. I put here, eh, because it, okay, you can see it now. I can see it now. Did I you know how I got now. here? No, no. Oh, look at it. I thought you were looking at it. So you are I'm looking at it. it. Look at I click on the icebreaker. The icebreaker, yes. Click on the icebreaker. Uh -huh. And it brings you to this icebreaker. And in the icebreaker, uh, what did he say? He said, hi, I everyone. Topic. Can you read it? Okay, hi, everyone. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, we need to mention, yes. Read I've seen it. I've seen it. Read it out. Hi, everyone. Mm -hmm. Okay, hi, everyone. We need to meet one another. Introduce yourself by telling us your name, what you do for a living, your passion, and your expectation in this course. That, that, what did I do? If you click here, meet one another, I've already started a discussion. Okay, okay. You see that? You click on yes, it. Yes, I see. Mm -hmm. And you read through. This, I just yes. need this for you to meet me. Then you can reply 
Afro. Okay. Uh, so, uh, okay. Something you it's okay, man. You. Then with that, we are discussing. Okay. We are, so we get to meet okay. one another. Do you understand? It's okay. That is it's one okay, way. Man. Now let's take us to the other one because I really want us to do a lot of work when we get there. Okay. Ma now, if you look here, this is discussion forum. Yes. Forum. Yes. When you click on the discussion forum, what did he say here? Can you? Read it? In your contest, in your contest, state the factors responsible for incorrect and inadequate data. Post your discussion on the forum pages. On, on the, the forum, forum page. page. Good. Yes. So here, nobody has started. So what do you do? Mm -hmm. Click here, add a new okay. topic. If you click on a new topic, okay. something will come up as a heading. If I click okay. add a new topic, I'm not going to add a version because no, you need to ask what, what person needs to yes. say. Then okay. add a topic that relates to okay. this. Okay. <coughs> so you can say incorrect and inadequate. Uh, uh, that can okay. be it. Then put okay. anything here you wish to put. Then you have okay. to to add, maybe you want to have um, attachment. You attach, click here and attach. Okay. Then attach. Uh, but don't okay. attach something that is too lengthy that what you find difficult to read all through. It's okay. It's okay. And you get as if you know it's something that is so enticing or maybe a yeah. short video you feel when you okay. watch it, it's going to add you. So you add okay. whatever thing you need to add okay. mm. talking about mm. that forum. Of yes, and you post. Okay. So okay. once you post, okay. every other person will see it, will make will a comment, and so on. Now okay, again, uh, you have not been put in your picture. I did that too. I, I did this morning. Okay, you have done that this morning. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've done that. We are using today as okay. You have done that. Right? I've done that. Okay. I've done that. So we yeah. were able to really get along. And for this okay. class, before we edit, Mr. Male, have you been able to join us? Mr. Male, yes, you I, I just joined you guys now. Yes. Okay. It's okay. Okay, we we'll are uh, just connected now. Okay, no problem. No, you have not missed anything because we are recording and you will still watch it over. Are you okay? Now, in this case, before we round Thank up, you. before we round up, let us agree in this particular uh, class, how do you want to be addressed? Address me as Juliet. Are you? Okay. I'm Rex. Okay, Rex. Amale. Is your Rex your surname <laughs> or your first name? No, it's my it's my it's my first name. My okay, first good. name. And how do you want to oh, Male. my first Male. name? Okay, thank you. So in this case, we'll bring this class to a close for today while we log on to um the EDP 915. EDP 195, we shall do this for a level, right? Okay, man. Okay. Isn't it? It's for a level. Yes, yes, level. Okay, so we have yes, some minutes. It's for 11. Should we start immediately or you want us to have a rest? <laughs> Is there, anyone's okay with me? You can start immediately, man. Okay, let us start. Let's say by. Uh, prof, before we go to that, uh, may I. Uh, prof. We are listening. Okay. Hello? We'll come back by 10.30. Yes, um, okay, okay. Uh, there was a question I asked before this forum. Speaker, we are listening. Okay, what should we do, Mr. Omale, if we come? Okay, I'm having back. a lot of uh, challenges here. Yes, that is why well. don't worry. When we come back, use chats. You can always chat us, they will follow through. So, bye. Bye, bye. Thank you, Ma. Bye. See you 10 30.